Good morning and welcome to another tutorial video with Cosmos Crochet Corner. Today we will make a double crochet stitch. As you can see I've left my work on the hook from the previous video so we're simply going to carry on from here. As always we first need to turn our work around. However, you'll notice if you look that the half double is slightly taller than the single was. In the same way, the double crochet is going to be slightly taller than the half double is, which means we can no longer just chain one, because that won't give us enough height. Instead, we need to chain two stitches before we turn our work around. Now, because we're chaining two stitches, that means that the first stitch from the hook is a chain stitch, the second stitch from the hook is a chain stitch, and the stitch we want to work in now is actually the third stitch from the hook. So for the double crochet you want to start in the third stitch from the hook, not the second. Now same as with a half double you're going to hook the yarn, same as with a half double you're going to go under the V, same as with a half double, you're going to hook the yarn and pull it back under the V so that you will have three loops on your hook. This is where the difference comes in. Now you hook the yarn, but you're only pulling it through the first two loops. So loop one and two, and then you push your hook forward so that you now have two loops on your hook. You hook the yarn again and you pull through those two loops to complete your double crochet. So it's hook the yarn under the V, hook the yarn back under the V, three loops on your hook. Hook the yarn, pull through two loops, hook the yarn, pull through two loops and your double crochet is complete. So you have to pull through two loops twice to complete a double. So hook the yarn, under the V, hook the yarn, back under the V, three loops. Hook the yarn, pull through two loops, hook the yarn, pull through two loops. Next one, hook the yarn, under the V, hook the yarn, pull back under the V, three loops. Hook the yarn, pull through two, hook the yarn again, pull through two. We keep doing this with every single stitch until you get to the end of your row. Remember, pull through two, pull through two. You have to do the pull through two stitches thing twice. So that's once, twice in order to complete your double crochet stitch. So pull through two, pull through two. Hook the yarn, under the V, hook the yarn, three loops. Hook the yarn, pull through two, hook the yarn, pull through two. Hook the yarn, under the V, hook the yarn, back under the V, three loops, hook the yarn, pull through two, hook the yarn, pull through two, that's number nine. And then we'll do number ten, which is our very last one. Pull through two and pull through two. That completes our row of double crochets. Now if you wish to carry on practicing you simply chain two stitches, turn your work and start in the third V from the hook and then you can work in rows up until you are comfortable creating a double crochet stitch. Enjoy practicing!